abrupt cut slash edit you're probably going to get here. Um, if you can't tell by my voice, um, needless to say, something... I'm just going to be very honest with you guys. I've had a very shitty day, and I was, I was really trying to stream Red Dead, try and get my mind off of it, and it was pretty much worse, and I was out of my mood and out of my funk, and then just something as simple as accidentally spilling a drink, and just, at, even after cleaning up the mess, I'm just... I'm not in the mood. I'm. I don't even want to finish this, but I kind of have to, just. Just to a wrap up the video and b also so I can save this and all that, and I don't have to go through all this stupid bullshit again. So, I'm quite frankly, I'm just gonna lay out and cut out and not do any more commentary for however long this last mission or whatever takes. And hopefully, I'll be back with a another video where I'm a have a better day and also in a more positive mood so sorry guys but just how it's gonna be for a fool no idea what choice do we have none I guess this is idiotic you know where the cemetery is I think so Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figured the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Easy. <laughs> This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Someone already cleaned this one out. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but he won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. Hey there. 
there, boy. All right. Gotta keep looking. When my time comes, Arthur, I'm sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. Shush, shush, shush. Wait. Stop. Shush. Hold on. first shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time we can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it Arthur Like I said, let's look around where they jumped us. Come on, let's quickly Good check that spot where here. it all kicked off. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side.
get back to Dutch. Hey there, girl. What is the problem here? Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Huh? Like I said, would you see where we're at once we got Jack? Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple on, country son. boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teaches me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? 
Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about them. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Maybe thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, be good now. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Arthur. No se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. All right, let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Cuando salí de Hermosillo, lágrimas vine llorando. 